Billy Covington Jr., Jerry Heater, and Kevin Milner. Balls in the air. It'll be Rattlers basketball, the first possession here tonight. Whereas in the game, the first game with Lafayette, everything they did was with purpose, but they came around in the second half. I just hope they pull it off here where they can come out with intensity and purpose right now. It's always tough to get him to mesh quickly, but he's done a great job of that. There's a steal for Wooga Poplar in transition. Shimmies in the lane, hangs and hits. For Coach Larinaga through Miami's first three games. That's taken away by Miami. And now the Rattlers get it right back. Bates swipes it away, and that's a big block at the rim for O'Meara. Two minutes and ten, ten seconds in here in Miami tonight. To the rack, Merritt gets it swatted away and take it away. Jordan Miller in transition, a strong finish at the rim. And you know what, that was a great lead pass for O'Meara. Yeah, Miami loves to run that motion offense. O'Meara calling for it on the baseline. Spins, hangs, and fires, and he makes it. What do you see out of Miami early offensively here tonight? I see a lot more patience than I did against Lafayette and Greensboro, so I think it's going to end up well, uh, going well for them, taking their time getting better shots. Nice shot, Byron Smith. Luis Jean spins. He finds bars, and a pair for bars. Uh, maybe to force Miami into a turnover and not let them get too comfortable offensively as Jordan Miller has it swatted away by Issa, the junior at six feet eight inches tall. Now Tillman, an opportunity. Good pressure atop the three-point line for Isaiah Wong. Now Smith works in the paint. Had a good look at the rim, but O'Meer said not so fast, young man. Miami did everything right on that transition. It just didn't go for him. Tillman with the left hand up and under, off the, uh, off the glass, wow. Out of the under 16 media timeout. Walker had O'Meara open underneath, but he hesitated. Now Poplar rises and hits. If you're having trouble from the outside, you shoot a few mid-range. Tillman catches nothing. Poplar! Great. That's an easy alley-oop right there. Now a double team up top. Good luck for Williams. Nails it. Peyton Williams, redshirt sophomore out of Tampa hits. Anthony Walker's three is way offline, but North Chad O'Meara gets it. Yeah, the state seems to struggle it right now, right? UF lost to FAU last night, so it's uh, going to have to really knuckle down and start playing hard. Out of the timeout. That's the joke. An easy bucket underneath with his knee early on, and he kind of wobbled on over to the bench as Nigel Pack hits a pair, but uh, Poplar back in. Average 17 points for the Wildcats. Yeah, I think there's a lot of teams that have seen that. North Chad O'Meara. Right, they pick up the turnover right here. Another takeaway, a quick three for Nigel Pack. No good, too strong off the back of the iron. Now Florida A&M with an opportunity in transition. Chapman gets to the rim and hits. Now to the rack is Smith. He fires, no good. Poplar and Miller soar for the rebound. In transition, another alley-oop. Wong to Omir. Corrals the rebound, it's too short by Byron Smith. Now North Chad O'Meara again. He is just starting to take advantage of those Rattlers down there in the paint. O'Meara's got 10 points and two rebounds. And now he's got a takeaway. Here he comes in transition. He's got 10, give him 12. Williams can't hit. He had Byron Smith down low and underneath or check that Jalen Bates. It was a three on two opportunity. Ford A&M couldn't take advantage. Now on the other end, look at that beautiful spin move in the paint for Jordan Miller. Bates with an offensive rebound. Another opportunity now for Tillman and company. Williams will fire away for three and hit. Peyton Williams. Having those tiger paws on the road yep. leading you in too. So it's really, you've got to get to a football game there if you've not been to one. Nice move in the paint for Jalen Bates. Some would say big. Miami at the moment a 19 and a half point underdog. Chad O'Meara, bucket in the foul, rocks the baby underneath. And an assist. 
Miami by 10 in transition. Jordan Miller. Nigel Pack, tight contested defense. Three in the corner is good. Hans Luis Jean, junior out of Northwest Kansas. Omir wants the ball down low. He's calling for it. Poplar hands it to Miller. That's an easy assist for Wooga Poplar. Isaiah Wong. The fourth year junior has been terrific for Miami, and now he puts it home. That jump switch continues to give. Gets his own offensive rebound. Byron Smith out to Chapman, who drives in the paint. And gets a bucket. Tillman driving left, hangs and fires and misses. Tried to get his own offensive rebound. Nor Chad Omir, Wooga Poplar. Hey, transition! There's a highlight reel right there. Yeah, here's Omar with the great recognition. And here it is right here, showtime. Oh, my goodness. Little like uh, Michael Cooper from the Lakers way back when. Chase Bars, the forward for Florida A&M, made a nice business decision. He is a freak. Really interesting watching this Miami team early through the first couple of games, Murray, because especially in transition, there's a turnover. Norchad O'Meara up the pack. He lobs it up for O'Meara. Probably hoping he can corral six more rebounds, get himself a double-double. Stuff the stat sheet a little bit here tonight. Turnaround jumper off the windows. Good for Hans Luis Jean. They were successful with it early in the first half for a couple of minutes until Miami settled down. Yeah. That's a sign of a mature team right there. Poplar for three. This game's available on either ESPN News, ESPN2, or ESPNU. Bucket's good for Byron Smith. Look at Poplar to the rack, high off the glass, it's good. Wong working on Smith inside, he floats and fades away, no good. An easy put back for Miller. There's a takeaway by Jordan Miller in transition, and that gets swatted away by Jalen Bates. Jordan looking for a foul there. Quick trigger for Smith. Wow, that was a tough shot. Walker on the baseline, up top for Poplar. He fires away, rattles in and out. Isaiah Wong with the offensive rebound. Bensley Joseph will fire away for three and hit. He can hit, he can hit those threes. Yeah, he can, he hit a few against Lafayette the other night. So he's really, oh, somebody fell asleep there. Coach L's not happy about that either. He is Miami's best defender and he can pressure the basketball. Wong spins in the paint, hands it off to Anthony Walker who gets himself a bucket. Underneath the bucket is good on the second chance opportunity for Jalen Bates. And now a running float over the right hand. No good for Byron Smith. He didn't catch anything. Poplar up top for Walker. No good. Miller for two. Harlan Beverly and Norchad O'Meara set the check back in for Miami. Buckets good for Tariq Issa. In the paint, in transition. Swat of the way. Tillman trying to go for the left hand. Here comes Wooga. Poplar! He might have cocked back a little more that time. Here tonight, it's all Miami, and it's the Wooga Poplar Show. A little chemistry. Here's a takeaway. In transition, Bensley Joseph! Count the bucket in the foul! The free throw line. There he is, going up strong with the left hand. I'm not sure there's a, let's see the foul here. In the face of Hans Luis Jean. Yeah, you got him. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Takes it up strong. Up now Amir Sky to get the basketball. Uh, and Nigel Pack's got himself an easy bucket or maybe not. The second chance opportunity for Jordan Miller is good. They're going to say Wong and Pack are going to fill up the scoring sheet. Miami's going to win. Wong and Pack have got to do it. Joseph to Omir who gets tied up. Oh, look at that. Nigel Pack has the offensive rebound. 
Fensley Joseph floats with the right hand, no good. Nor Chad O'Meara puts it back up and in. He's got 21. And then huh. I came back to get ready for the NBA draft, so. Jordan Miller, 4-3. There it is. Oh, video on Twitter or Instagram. I think I might have seen it on Instagram. And all the players were asked, what is it that Nor Chad O'Meara says when he gets on the block? So A.J. Casey and Christian Watson into the game for Miami. Two players to keep an eye on. Casey in the paint, throws it off the glass, and it's in. And good. Instant impact. Those are the first two points of A.J. Casey's collegiate career. Christian Watson, an outstanding run and jump athlete. His size and skill give him the flexibility to play multiple positions. Buckets good underneath as A.J. Casey pulls down the rebound. Casey will bomb one away for three and hit. And it absolutely goes toward Coach Bell figuring out who, who he can count on to come in off the bench when he needs it. Five on the shot clock. Joseph fires away for three. Ooh. Down with the rebound is Williams. Three on the way, and it's good for Jalen Bates. Casey thought about a three. Left-hand dribble in the paint. Finds the open man, Watson, for three in the corner. It's good. Tell you what, great court vision by Casey. Yeah, that's one of those things you can't coach, right? How many times have you heard that? You can't coach height. So if you can get it and use it to your advantage, then there we go. This ball game is over. Coach L and the boys win it 87-61. Your final thoughts here, Murray?